Hi teachers, in this tutorial I will be showing you how to create an assignment in Schoology. In assignments you will be able to attach files, insert links, use your Google Drive and Google products, and embed video. You will make sure that you have installed the Google app. We did this in the last tutorial. Now to do this, you're going to go here to the LMS App Center, and remember you must allow pop-ups to see this LMS App Center pop-up. You're going to type Google and you're going to click Enter. You will hit Google Drive and you will select Install Resource App. This is going to connect your district Google Drive to Schoology. I have selected this course in Courses. Now you need to decide how you want to organize your assignments. I create a folder for each week and within the folder I will include the assignments. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a folder. I'm going to give the folder a name. I will also select a color for the folder. I can insert an image for this folder to make it easier to identify. So I'm going to insert image and I'm going to insert the image from my computer. Attach the file. I've inserted the image and I'm going to hit delete to get rid of that space. I can also give it a date and an end date. If you see here, publish means that the students will be able to see this folder. You can hit unpublish or give it a start date. Let's hit create. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to go into that folders to start creating your assignments. I'm going to add an assignment. I'm going to give this assignment a name. Once my assignment has a name, I can start typing my directions and I'm going to copy and paste my directions. I have typed the directions here. Now within the directions, I can increase the font and change the color. Let's say I want to make this orange or red. Okay, so now the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to attach a link for Benchmark Advance. Now the reading series in my district is called Benchmark Advance. I'm going to insert a link by highlighting the text and you can do this after also. You have that option. I'm going to insert the link. Now I'm going to go over to Benchmark Advance and if you look, I have copied it already, but I'm going to show you how to grab that. You go to Create Link for Direct Access, Copy Link. Now I'm going to go back to Schoology and I can simply insert that here. If you hover over this, you will see this line and it will be blue. That means it's a hyperlink. The next direction says completing something in Google Slides. So I'm going to attach that document for them. I'm going to go into my tutorial folder and this little icon tells me it's the Google Slides and I'm going to attach it. And now it is in the assignment. The next thing I want to show you is how to attach a PDF. It says complete the attached file on Long I. I'm going to select this file and I'm going to insert it from my computer. If you look here, you can see that that PDF has now been inserted. Now I also want to show you how to embed a video. Well, I'm going to insert image and media. I'm going to select from the web, hit media, and I'm going to show you how to get this so that it is embedded in your assignment and the students do not have to go to YouTube. You're going to select the share button, embed, select copy, and let's go back to Schoology. You're going to paste that in there. I don't know why I don't use the shortcuts. It's just bad habits. And if you look here, the media has been embedded. So now we are going to go down. We're going to give it a due date. I like all my assignments due by the end of the week. 
So I'll say Saturday, and I'm going to change this point system here to elementary grading scale. And as you can see, it changes to the 4321. The category, you can select ungraded if you don't want to give it a grade, or I have created a new grading category, which is language arts. I can make my grades here transfer over to the report cards. And if you work in the same school district, you will go to Align, select your custom learning objectives, select School, the report card domains, and click All That Apply. I'm going to select Add Learning Objectives. And down here, you can individually assign. You can lock the assignment. Publish means the students will be able to see it. You also will have Submit if you have members or students in your course. And you can also copy this to other courses. And I'm going to select Create. Now this assignment is inside this folder. I'm going to select it. And you can see the assignment. It gives me the details and I can check the progress and submissions. Now I'm going to check to make sure that the links work. I'm going to select a walk on the moon. You can see that the direct access link works. You can also play the video. This one works as well. Here I can see that the student will be able to download this file. Let's go back to Schoology. Also click the gear and I'll see that I can edit the assignment. I can unpublish it if I'm working ahead. I can move it to a different folder. I can copy to course if I have multiple courses. I can delete it or save to resources. Now this will allow me to save it to use for next year. Now remember, once your class is archived, I guess you could go in and find it, but it's just easier if you know this is an assignment that you will use year after year, you wanna save it to your resources. Inside resources, you will be able to save this to a Unit 8 folder. I hope you found it useful and hope that you feel a little more comfortable with using this in your primary classroom.